Hello, I'm Joanne Liedem Ackerman, Vice President Emeritus of Penn International. Today we mark the 10 year anniversary of the awarding of the Nobel Prize for Peace to essayist, poet, activist, and Penn member Lu Xiaoboa on December 10, 2010. Lu Xiaoboa envisioned and worked towards a peaceful and democratic pathway for China. Beginning with the protest in Tiananmen Square in 1989 and through the subsequent decades, he spoke out and wrote and gathered people and ideas in support of a China where individual freedom was valued and protected. In 2008, he and others drafted Charter 08, which set out this democratic vision. He and others gathered hundreds and then thousands of signatures from Chinese citizens who endorsed the vision. Two days before the 60th anniversary of the United Nations General Assembly's adoption of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, on December 8, 2008, Liu was arrested and later charged as an enemy of the state for incitement of subverting state power. Because of his ideas, his writing, and his participation in the drafting and circulating of Charter 08, he was sentenced to 11 years in prison, denied the freedom to receive the Nobel Prize for Peace in person, only an empty chair represented him at the ceremony. His wife, Lu Xi, was also not allowed to attend. Lu Xiaoboa died in custody July 13, 2017. Lu Xiaoboa once declared that freedom of expression is the foundation of human rights, the source of humanity, and the mother of truth. Today, Lu's enduring legacy still inspires those inside and outside of China, from the mainland to Xinjiang to Tibet to Hong Kong, and to neighboring countries engaged in the struggle for political reform and an end to authoritarian rule. I would now like to introduce Lu Xiaoboa's beloved wife, Lu Xi, who is herself a poet, who will read one of his poems written to her, Van Gogh and You, Address to Little Xi. Van Gogh yu ni, gei xiao xia. 你的字总让我自卑心中的绝望难以辨认而笔画却趋于完美梵高的向日葵长在你握笔磨出的厚茧上那把空椅子很珍贵不是你读书写信的地方换一个姿势就是换一种记忆你平静地面对结论一个人欣赏梵高的画每天都用心跳行走总以为在迈过一步就是尽头撞墙的预感引导着你在爱的反面在死的另一面梵高的播种者毁于刚刚萌芽的种子对于你房间等同于天堂从外面回家似乎就得